string of mass shootings. Near Chicago, 23 people were shot, one of them fatally during a Juneteenth event yesterday. In Kellogg, Idaho, four people were shot and killed. A suspect was arrested. And in San Francisco, six people were injured in a shootout involving two cars. Two were hit by stray bullets, and two young girls were hit by the cars. With little agreement in Washington over to how to stop the violence, tonight Richard Engel reports on how lawmakers in Serbia responded following two mass shootings there. Serbians didn't see it coming. On May 3rd, a 13-year-old boy stormed into a school with his father's two guns and a key. Enlist, a and key. killed eight classmates. The next day, a man with a history of violence opened fire in a village, killing eight more. But then came more than thoughts and prayers. Tens of thousands demanded not just tighter gun controls, but a reorientation of society away from violence. I think a lot of us have just been enough. Zarko Svechik's nine-year-old daughter Zora was in the school when the 13-year-old boy went on a killing spree. What would you say to Americans who've been through this and then see no change? I would say to them, you know, um, safeguard your democracy um, if you still have it and uh, mobilize. Within weeks of the shootings here, new laws were introduced and old ones enforced. Now, all sales of new guns are banned for two years. Gun owners must submit to in-person psychological and background checks. And owning an illegal gun is punishable by up to 15 years in prison. Many Serbians are turning in their guns voluntarily. There's a lot of, of, of AKs in small like this. There are 70,000 guns in this police warehouse, surrendered under a no questions asked amnesty. The deputy interior minister says this is only the start. What do you think when you see all of this? Do you must know. I see life safe, he said. <laughs> Serbia is deeply divided politically, but overhauling gun laws was universally popular. Look at that. Dobrika What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Legal. Why is it, do you think, you were able to cross political divides we're not having these big gun lobbies and the big industry which is behind it the father we spoke to and many others now want to push further dialing back violence in the media and in political discourse he has been identified as Wilbur Fleming police say he was killed when a tree fell on top of his carport in Canton relatives say he was going to his brother's funeral in Atlanta when he was killed getting in through his car a second death was also reported last night when a tornado NATO hit the Bay Springs area. And despite the Father's Day and Juneteenth holidays, the deadly gun violence continued with more than a dozen shootings across the country. And the long holiday weekend is not even over with yet. Teenagers, Jared Hill. A Father's Day celebration turned deadly on Chicago's south side yesterday evening. At least two people were killed, three others injured after witnesses say someone drove by a park and started shooting. That came hours after another deadly mass shooting early Sunday, about 30 minutes away in Willowbrook, Illinois. That one during the Juneteenth celebration. The motive behind this incident is unclear. While in Washington state, police said a gunman randomly fired into a crowd at a music festival happening at a campground, killing two and injuring three others. My heart is racing. I, I mean, I was just kind of scared. The city of St. Louis is reeling after one teenager was killed and nine more injured in a shooting at a party Saturday night. The violence these children experienced last night is intolerable. At a Safe Communities event last week, President Biden spoke about the need to do more to stop gun violence. You have to take action, you have to move, you have to do something. Heartbreakingly, according to the U.S. Gun Violence Archive, more than 800 children and teenagers have been shot to death in the U.S. so far this year.